sometimes we forget that God is the boss. And we think we deserve more compensation. We, we think we can do it better. Or we want a different outcome than what God wants done. When stewards misunderstand their role, a great problem arises. I can see your heart in a million different ways. Every precious one, a child you die to save. If you give your life to love, then so will I. Happy Monday. So, the boys went out skateboarding this afternoon. Um, well, I'm doing laundry. <laughs> it's a lot harder to go up and down the stairs in a boot, so I'm trying to figure out and plan my trips up and down. It takes a lot more energy, and I'm not supposed to be walking, so I'm trying to think of things I can do while sitting down. It's not very fun, but it is what it is. Okay, I don't know what's happening. Getting ready to Getting ready to go off to the daycare. It's going to be an adventure because my, oh, you can't really see it. Food is on my right foot, which is my driving foot. So I'm glad I live in Jordan, Montana and there's not a lot of traffic. We're gonna try it out. Today's a Tuesday. I did not record yesterday. I had a migraine and I haven't had a migraine in a while. Um, one of my triggers is aspartame. And if I can avoid that, I usually don't have migraines. But I, So yesterday I wasn't feeling the greatest. Uh, today my head seems to be feeling lots better. And we got our normal Tuesday stuff. Minus piano lessons. Uh, those got canceled. But other than that, we got some uh, house chores to do and some different things while Sharon is at the daycare. Just another week in paradise. So for some different reasons, my schedule has been pretty open here the last week or so and uh, I kind of see what I'm using to fill that time but I'm not in meetings and doing all these other plethora of things that I have on my my plate and I'm spending a lot more time just hanging out with the uh, family and uh, Man, this has just been been really, really good. So uh, we do ministry as a family. They We, we kind of go everywhere together. We kind of do all kinds of stuff. Me and Sharon are both involved with the, the state convention quite a bit. And, and so we, we do all of that stuff together. But this is just kind of being just enjoying each other type of stuff. And uh, it's been really, really good. So my, my big encouragement to you is um, even though you may not feel busy, Maybe, uh, you know, you just kind of do ministry as a family like we do. Uh, there's something about just taking some time and enjoying the family. I'm really, really looking forward to this uh, three-week vacation we got coming up. It's really just a two-week vacation because one of those weeks I'm going to be at the National Convention working. But uh, other than that, it's going to be a really good vacation. Um, by the way... Next week, my dad shows up, and we're going to go camping on the island. So this afternoon, we're here outside. I'm going to set up my Hennessy hammock again and make sure I understand everything and make sure I got everything right. So that's what we're doing today. today. We are heading to Miles City. we got to pick up our groceries for the next few weeks before we leave on our adventure. And, uh, yeah. Let's talk. So we have about three weeks before we go to North Carolina. Next week is a normal week-ish we do have to make a trip to Billings and then we are uh, going to pick up my dad and the week after that Jeremiah and I will spend a week on the island with him then the week after that we're going to be flying down to North Carolina so we have about three weeks I shut my foot in the door and so we're doing the Walmart thing where we're getting enough groceries for three weeks uh, in preparation for that and then the next four Sundays we're going to be gone. Well, I won't be preaching. We'll be back in time for that fourth Sunday. They're having problems pairing their machine to take my money for curbside payment. So we're just sitting here. I'm sitting because my foot it's hard to stand. I told them just to holler when they're ready for me. 
so hopefully we'll be able to pay and get our groceries. We just got back from the dentist office. Sharon is at the daycare covering because uh, there's a funeral in town that the daycare people need to be at, and so Sharon's going to cover while they go to that. I was going to go to this funeral, but um, we decided to help cover for people that um, wanted to, needed to be there a little bit more than we did. So, but anyway, while we were at the dentist, we were talking about our plans for vacation, and uh, our dentist she said something that uh, I found would fit the vlog very good today. She said, you know you live in a workaholic culture when you have to justify a day off. Pastors fall into one of two categories most of the time. Either they're workaholics or they're lazy. I find that most fall into the workaholic category. They feel like they can't ever take a day off. And if they do need to take some time off, they feel like they have to justify it to the people of the church. I don't know if that's because the people of the church have made him feel that way or it is um, the pastor and themselves not doing that. Um, I think for me, my situation has been um, that the people of the church have been very accommodating and I've never had to justify taking a day off. But I do feel the sense of responsibility to them and that has probably been what's caused me to not do any of that stuff. Yep. Uh, Jeremiah's new skateboard came in. Uh, here's the video of him unboxing it. And we're going to go try that out. It's sprinkling rain right now, and Sharon still isn't back, but uh, here in a little bit, we're going to go try that new skateboard out. So, a week. Pop will be here in a week for their camping trip. So, I have sent the boys upstairs to try and start their rooms. I've got some VBS stuff processing for that. We gotta hang posters around town today. Woohoo! I created a poster. Yay. But, I asked the boys to throw their dirty laundry down the stairs so I could start laundry because I'm way behind. That. that whole pile and that's just the boys so yesterday I did laundry and then I spent a bunch of time cleaning this closet we have a lot of junk in our bathroom closet but when you live so far from everything you want to have an extra so like extra mouthwash for the kids just different stuff like that. We just have a lot of it. So now it's organized. I did throw away two bags of junk. And now I'm going to go see what the boys did cleaning their rooms yesterday. 
Well, the bridge is not clean. Flash is sleeping up here. This is supposed to be a clean room. Flash is comfy, apparently. I don't even know. Jeremiah, your room is not clean either. What? No! And this is the second room. I told them I really wanted them to work on getting it clean because it's hard for me to go up the stairs with a boot on. Not clean. So we have some friends that are out of town and we're taking care of their animals. So we're visiting animals. Hi Thor. Hi boy. Hi Thor. Mom, can you blow this out for me? Mom, can you blow this out for me? No, you blow it. What you doing, Thor? He's not sure about you. Hey Elijah, don't get over there. Hi Thor. Hi Thor. <laughs> What you doing? Hi, Muffin. Hi, Muffin. I know you're not my friend. You miss your family. It's okay, Muffin. You're my friend, Muffin, remember? Hi, Muffin. Hi, Muffin. Come take it. As soon as she takes it out of your hand, you let it go, okay? There you go. Good boy. Good girl, Muffin. Animals taken care of. I forgot to get the towels from the church when we cleaned up, so KJ's going to go get them. Because I'm going to do some laundry. Do it like this. And running in and out is hard for me with this boot. It's dumb. Okay, what was your favorite part of the week so far? I don't know. <laughs> you didn't do anything you liked this week at all? Skateboard. Oh. We didn't skateboard today. I said this week. Hmm. What about you, Elijah? I would pick feeding Thor if I could. But you didn't feed Thor. Feeding Muffin. Okay. But he didn't eat Thor was fun. 